Hi everyone, how's your week going? Well, let's talk about Rayon Shally today. Shall we talk about Shally? I had a viewer leave me a comment on, I believe it was my last video, and she said, Viv, how do I work with Rayon Shally? Can you give me any tips? And I thought that's gonna be a great idea for a video. I don't wanna make it too long, but I want to encourage you to sew with Rayon Shally. It's a beautiful fabric and it's not tricky. If you've heard that it's tricky to work with, I think you've gotten a little bit of wrong information. I'll tell you why, okay? I'm gonna show you some of my Rayon Shallies, and then I'm gonna show you how I cut Rayon Shally out. And before we go, I'll show you a couple garments that I've made from this beautiful fabric. Now, Rayon Shally, no big surprise, is made of rayon. Rayon is considered a semi-synthetic fabric. It's a man-made fabric, but it uses natural fibers. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that rayon uses wood pulp as its basis. So chalet is just the sort of fabric that it is. Chalet can be made out of silk, it can be made out of wool, and it can be made out of rayon. Now rayon chalet is always lightweight. So if you order rayon chalet, the first thing you're go going to notice is that it's lightweight, it's very soft, and it has a beautiful drape. Don't mind my fan, I'm just always hot. So, oh, I like it right up close to me. So look at this, you can just see that this fabric moves beautifully. It is not structured and stuck in one place. It's going to move with you, it's gonna pick up a breeze, and it just looks so pretty when you've made a shirt or a dress or a skirt out of rayon chalet. So it's got that soft, beautiful drape. Rayon is breathable. It's a wonderful fabric to choose for warm weather garments. It is machine washable. You definitely need to wash your rayon chalet before you start sewing with it because yes, it can shrink a bit. So it comes in all these gorgeous colors and all kinds of beautiful prints. I always toss my rayon chalet into a cold water wash and I tumble dry on medium. Some people say don't even put it in the dryer, but I have always put mine in the dryer and I don't think it's any worse for wear. If you don't want to do that, just make sure that you dry it flat because if you hang up wet chalet, it will stretch out the weight of the water will stretch it out and you don't want that. Now, if you're really industrious, you will finish the edges before you toss it in the washing machine. Sometimes I'm industrious and other times I just wanna get it washed and dried so that I can work with it. But if you run a line, uh, a surged line here, or even just a line of straight stitching, sometimes people even sew the chalet together, cut to cut, and make like a tube, like that, and then that prevents all of this crazy fraying. I live dangerously, and what I do is when this happens, I just chop all of that off because it can really sort of distort the fabric if you have a lot of that fraying and then it sort of gets knotted in the machine. So you wanna wash your rayon chalet, you wanna dry your rayon chalet, and you want to iron your rayon chalet. I recommend ironing with a spray starch. It won't harm the fabric, and you can see that these chalets that have come out of the wash are quite wrinkled. I would never cut a garment out without ironing my rayon chalet. And so what I usually do is just have the wrong side up, spray starch, hot iron, I don't need a pressing cloth, steam is fine, 
and I give the fabric a beautiful press before I cut it out. Now, is that everything important to iron? I got some little notes here that I'm looking at. When you're sewing, let's go over when you're putting your fabric under the needle. No, actually, let's go see how I cut Rayon Shally out. And then I'll be right back. The pattern that I'm gonna cut out, parts of it anyway, Butterick, Five, six, eight, one. This has to be late 60s, early 70s. And I love the yellow V-neck dress. I think I am going to sew the scarf. Why not? And I'll show you how easy it is to cut patterns with rayon chalet. Okay, I have my cutting table elevated. So if I sit at my table, I look like I look like I'm at the kids' table. But I love having this cutting table elevated so much. I just bought some of those plastic risers. Now what I've got before me is a beautiful piece of rayon chalet. This has a pretty pronounced stripe to it, as you can see. I'm gonna show you how I cut it out. I don't use a rotary, I use good old scissors and pins. Um, so what I've done is I have ironed this piece of rayon chalet and I've used some spray starch with it. My pattern pieces, one is just cut two and one has place on the fold. So I always fold my fabrics with the right sides together. Here's this print up close so you can see it. it. Just looks kind of modern and mod to me and I'm gonna make this little 1960s pattern out of it. So my rayon chalet here is probably about 56 inches wide and I am simply going to fold it in half so that the selvages up here meet. And I wanna make sure that they meet all the way down my fold. So I will get that ship shape, and then I'll show you how I pin on my, fab, my pattern pieces and cut. I don't think it is necessary to cut rayon chalet in one layer. I have read about people doing that, and certainly if that's what you prefer, well, have at it. I prefer the least amount of cutting work that I can get. So, I'm always gonna fold my fabric, cut two, two layers at once, and there you go. So now I wanna check at my fold here, over here, I wanna make sure that it is, that the pattern the print is perfectly lined up all the way down. So you can just sort of manipulate the fold if it doesn't look like it's quite right. Mine looks like it came out pretty well. And now I've got a fold that I can place my pattern piece on. I'm going to have to put it print side down, not a big deal, and I'm going to put that center front directly on the fold. And now I'm going to pin it down. Nothing earth shattering here. You do want to pin your fold side first because you don't want that to shift. If I started pinning all up around here, around the neckline and the armhole, this could be shifted way out here and then it wouldn't be right there butted up butted up against the fold so i'm going to keep pinning this and i'll be right back this is a pair of mundial mundial scissors very run of the mill and rayon chalet is wonderful to cut just makes really nice clean notches and I 
am very fond of cutting. Now I know a lot of people say that's their most disliked aspect of sewing, but I really kind of like it. I think it is very satisfying that you start to do something, you finish doing it, it has completion, and then you have something to work with. I always cut my notches out like little triangles. I don't cut them into the seam allowance, but once again, many ways to do things are just fine. Now I'm going to have a little uh, dark here, not a little one. These old 1960s patterns had some pretty righteous darts. And then I'm just gonna continue down here on the side seam. Here's a double notch right here. And you can see that this fabric is not moving all around on my table. I do have it well pinned, but it's not difficult to cut in the least. Here's what it's coming out to look like. And I'll have to finish all of these raw edges because they will fray. Here is my front neckline, V-neck facing. They want me to only cut one of these and instead of cutting it single layer on this thin lightweight fabric, I'm going to make it a little easier on myself and simply fold that facing in half. So I've created a fold right there. Okay, so you can see that. Fold in half. And then I'm going to place that little fold right on my fold line. But before I do that, since I need one out of interfacing as well, I have a very lightweight interfacing and I'm going to place that right on top of my fabric and line up that fold there. It doesn't have to be exact. It can be a little smaller than your fashion fabric fold. And then I'm gonna place my facing, neckline facing there, and I'm gonna pin it through all layers. That way, I cut out my inner facing and my facing at the exact same time, and it gives me more thickness to work with, which actually helps to stabilize what I'm cutting. So I'll get you in here a little bit closer and you can see how nicely this works for cutting out. All right, there's my pattern piece. Here's the little fold that I've placed it on and I'm just going to start cutting right here. I believe I had a notch here. Somebody definitely sewed this dress before I did. And you know, I really love that about uh, vintage patterns because you're just kind of, now see, I didn't get that nice and close, so I'll just clean up that cutting line there. But you're just kind of sewing a little piece of history. And I always wonder, what was the seamstress before me like? Did she have a family? Was she a career woman? Was she sewing clothes for work? Okay. Here it is, it is now cut out. If I take these pins off, you can see that I've got a great V neck facing and all I have to do is fuse my interfacing piece to the wrong side of my fabric and it's done and it didn't shimmy around on the table or anything like that. So when you get ready to sew your rayon chalet, here's what you want to remember. You need a nice sharp needle. Put a new needle in. You can use a universal. You can use a Microtex, which is super sharp. But you do want a good sharp needle so that you don't snag or distort the fabric. You want a regular to light tension on your machine. Don't have a real high tension because that will pull this fabric. And it can stretch out of shape. Rayon Chali doesn't have any stretch in it. There's no lycra in this. 
but you can see that it's got some very nice give and especially on the bias. So for this reason, it's going to be very important that you stay stitch your rayon chalet. On curved edges like necklines and armholes, stay stitch. You won't regret taking the time to do it because then your fabric is not going to be stretched out of shape when you go to attach your facing. Um, I think I went over that you absolutely have to finish raw edges on chalet. It won't age well if you don't. So finish those edges. You could do French seams. You can certainly run your serger along. Um, flat felled seams, Hong Kong finish, anything that's gonna cover those raw edges so that your garment will wash and wear beautifully. And you want to use an all-purpose thread. You want to hang your chalet before you hem because it can kind of distort and stretch out of shape. And was there one more thing? Um, oh, I think I went over the stray step. Stay, stay stitching. Also, rayon chalet shrinks. Now, I haven't found that it shrinks so much that it's a disaster, but that's another good reason to pre-wash and dry. Where do I get my rayon chalet? The absolute best prices are going to be a sale at Fabric Mart, a sale anywhere, but particularly at Fabric Mart. Regular prices of rayon chalet at Fashion Fabrics Club are very fair, and Vogue Fabrics I sometimes overlook Vogue fabrics, and they are a really great resource. They have a wonderful clearance section, and they do sell some pretty rayon chalet. Oddly enough, Mood doesn't usually have a lot of it. I have gotten it in the past on sale at Mood, and it's been very nice quality, but um, whenever I search for rayon chalet at Mood, it doesn't come up with a lot of selection. Maybe that's seasonal and that can change. They're always worth checking out. Fabric.com has some really nice chalet, rayon chalet when they mark it down. And I like to check on Act Fast Fridays because you can often run into a really good deal there. So it's widely available. It would be available at your favorite fabric sources, but to get a really good price, if that's important to you, I would um, check out one of those sources I named, and I'll put them all down in the description box for your reference. Before we go, I wanna show you a couple things that I've sewn out of Rayon Chalet. It's, it's one of my favorite fabrics to work with because when you finish your garment, it just looks so good. It just has an ease about it that's really attractive. So I'll show you what I've done with my Rayon Chalet in the past. Hang on. Okay, the point of this is just to show you how the garments move. This is a butterick top that ties in the front. We have a busy floral on white rayon chalet with a little gathered cuff. And I'll tell you, you're gonna get compliments on your rayon chalet makes because it's just such an attractive fabric. It's kind of uh, irresistible, like you just want to feel it because it moves so prettily. <laughs> moves so prettily. All right, here was a very nice rayon chalet that I got from fabric.com. Lots of florals. You're always going to find florals in rayon chalet. This had a kind of a nice uh, horizontal design to it and this came from Fabric Mart Fabrics. This is a dress that I made and this fabric, I believe it had Jams World printed in the selvage. So that was a pretty, pretty pattern there. This is one that came from Fashion Fabrics Club. It wasn't really on grain, but I just cut it out, sewed it together, and hoped for the best, and it's one of my favorite tops. I just love it. So, what kind of patterns do you want to choose for Rayon Chalet? You want to choose anything that's going to be fluid and moving. 
Ruffles are pretty. They won't be, they won't stick out. They'll lie sort of against you if you want a, a more delicate ruffle, you might say. And dresses, tops, tunics, beautiful. It does wrinkle. You will have to iron your rayon chalet. I mean, it can't be 100% perfect. Does any fabric exist that is 100% perfect? Hmm. I don't know. Um, rayon chalet is certainly close. So I hope this gave you some good information about this fabric. Definitely try it out. It is beautiful. And actually, you don't have to just limit the garments to summer and spring because, for instance, this one that has kind of long sleeves on it, I wear this top in winter. And in fact, it's great for me because I always run hot. So, you know, don't limit yourself. It can be an all season fabric and you can get some really great deals at the shops I mentioned. Whatever keeps you sewing is good in my book. Thanks for watching today and I'll say hi to you down in the comments. Bye till next time.